Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X and I'm super excited to keep going on our Red vs. Blue Season 11 uh, run. It is going to be fun. Remember to use those bumpers to support. Uh, this is Episode 7, Can I Keep It? We'll be doing that in Episode 8. We like to do these in two episode runs for those who don't know and we've gotten almost all, I think we've gotten all of everything up to Season 11 as far as I know. I don't think anything was taken down, but we'll see. I love the Great. voice of Boy Freckles. Dog. dog turns out to be a military grade killing machine from a crashed spaceship. Caboose. Um, you know, a pet is a lot of responsibility. That is why I will water him and I will feed him every day. Water and feed? What the hell does this thing run on? It runs on the power of the friendship of our love. This is so fucked up. Didn't you give birth to a baby alien a few years back? Whoa, let's not bring baby <laughs> What fun adventures are we going to go on today, Freckles? I'm not doing shit. We're getting rescued soon, remember? Actually, I think it would be smart if we continued with our training routine. What? Why? There's no point. Training is an ongoing process, Tucker. And as the leader of this team, I want to make sure that we're ready for anything. This is fucking stupid. Nothing has happened since we crashed here. Well, you never know if someone... Or something will attack. So stop complaining and start jogging. And where are you going? I'm heading up to the ship. Someone needs to do an inventory of our food supplies. I'd prefer it be someone who can count. Ouch. Screwed you screwed up once. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see your point. <laughs> so you're just going to leave me with them? Five laps, gentlemen. Tucker, make sure you count for a caboose. <laughs> yeah, right. Disregarding a direct order from a commanding officer is punishable by death. <laughs> Disregarding a command by a you to take out the trash for once. Since I've been thinking, I don't care. Take out the fucking trash. Why do we carry our guns? What? Our guns. Why do we carry them? Because we're soldiers. <laughs> yeah. But we're not really fighting anybody, are we? Well, yeah, but you never know when we could be attacked. Attacked by who? The Blues? Um. We haven't fought a single goddamn enemy since arriving in this canyon, and yet here we are walking around in full body armor with a rifle in our hands. Like the fucking galaxy is about to attack us any second. What's your point? My point is, why don't we ever just walk around without our guns? Fourth wall break. Do it. What? Drop your guns. No. Why not? I don't want to. You don't want to? Or you can't? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going back inside. <laughs> and thus, Dexter Grid single-handedly avoids trash duty for the second day in a row. Hoorah. Man, fall in! Double time! This is not a drill! What the hell? I knew there was a reason we were armed. Sarge, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? How about scheming, training, conniving, commiserating, colluding? Take your pick. Also, building a giant robot. Those blues are up to no good. And here I was, thinking something important was about to happen. But, sir, didn't we build a robot first? Ustedes hablan de 
<laughs> Who doesn't count? He's about as useful as a box full of grits. Hey, I'm offended. Oh, Ben. Oh, poor little Ben. Those point out. We've considered the Blues to be our quote allies unquote for some time now, but we have to look at the facts. What facts? Number one, they now possess a tank on legs that's capable of killing us all. Okay. And number two is that we didn't have our own number one first. Clearly, this is a conspiracy. So what do you expect us to do about it? I need you boys to conduct some reconnaissance, secure intel, get deep in Charlie's bush, initiate Delta Force, Tango and Cash. Are these orders or 80s actions? <laughs> Find out exactly ah. what those pesky blues are up to. You mean go over there? Near that monster? <laughs> this is exactly the kind of robot overlord shit I was talking about. If only someone had listened. It will be dangerous. Ah. But I have confidence this is that this will survive. Simmons. Why aren't you coming? We've had a major breach in security. One of the bags in my wall tore open. And now there's sand all over the place. I can see how that might take priority. <sighs> it's likely that we'll never fully recover. There's just so many tiny crevices. Sarge, please. I don't want to upset the mantis. What the mantis? The giant robot. Oh. Why is it called that? I don't know, because it's green? That's not the point. Well, that's not a very good reason to call it a mantis. Talvez lo llaman mantis. Ya que tiene un sistema de camuflaje anonzado que utiliza para atrapar. <laughs> I forgot well, it. So. Can't you see we're talking strategy? Stupid new Lopez. Look, the blues are no more dangerous than this idiot. Oye, vamos chicos, ya basta. But that robot could flatten us in an instant. You raise an excellent point, Simmons. I do? Yep. So you better not get spotted while you're out there. Oh my god. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Might as well, man. You're, you're screwed. But I'm telling you, the blues aren't up to anything. You'll never convince Sarge of that, though. Not in your wildest dreams, buddy. Oh. All right. Change of plans. So he's not going to storage. Where's he going? Uh oh. That's bad. All right. Next episode eight. Uh, the grass is greener. The blues are bluer. That sad whistling. Or lonesome? No Wolf freckles, no freckles go down. I did. Did. Yes, that's good, freckles. Yes, yes, sucker. Yes, did you see this? Freckles did it, squad. Great. Now teach him to fetch. And then throw his stick off a cliff. Oh, he knows how to fetch. Freckles! Freckles! Get the ball! <laughs> See, that, that was just, that was just poor phrasing on my part, really. I mean, I was just, I, I, I think I was just grammatically, it was grammatically incorrect. So. <laughs> right. We made it. Yeah. <coughs> now so, uh, what do we do now? I guess we just watch them? <laughs> so... This is a waste of time, right? I mean, they're not actually plotting anything. I don't know, man. But watching two dudes exercise is making me feel really weird. <clears throat> this isn't getting us anywhere. Well, why don't you just ask them what they're up to? What? And blow our cover? What do we look like, SEAL Team 6? Who gives a shit, dude? <laughs> you already said they're not up to anything. But what about the robot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? We need to strategize. Okay, fine. How do we want to do this? In a way that you don't oh, die. We could do, like, a sort of good cop, bad cop thing. What if we had casual? Like we're just shooting the shit or something. Maybe if we go in, guns blazing, we can intimidate them into telling us what we want. Wait, what do we want? I don't know. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, listen, Tucker. I'm willing to hear you out, but my partner is crazy. I can't hold him back. What? I mean, hey, what's up? How's the weather? No, wait, I mean, tell me what you know. I'm sorry. That's some solid detective work there, Officer Simmons. Yeah, so if you guys could not watch us work out, that'd be great. Because it's a little weird. It's really weird. Sarge ordered us to come spy on you. He thinks you're up to something. Dude, the only thing I've done today is exercise. <sighs> you poor tortured soul. <laughs> what are you training for? Fuck if I know, every day it's the same thing. Wake up, run drills. Clean the base, run drills. Maintain order, run drills. I have glamorous calves and a miserable fucking I have glamorous calves. <laughs> I had calves once. Way more tender than a regular cow. You can taste the youth. Wash makes you clean the base? And our equipment, and our vehicles. The guy's obsessed with rules and order. Yeah. Could you imagine having to deal with someone like that? 
Oh no. Fan order. Oh. I know, right? Dude. He's even got an organizational chart. <gasps> what a loser. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, mm, well, uh... Oh no, are we finally gonna get sucker, another defection? I I see this for myself. What? What? Well, you know, I just want to make sure his story checks out. Inspect the base, stick around for a few days. Checks out? What are you gonna find that we can't already see? The thing is completely exposed. It's empty. It's clean, dude. <sighs> clean. Are you sure you want to hang around? Wash might make you run his obstacle course or something. Yeah, Sarge made us do that too. On your mark, get set. This is such bullshit. Oh, why? <laughs> New record. New record. Sneeze, buckshot. <laughs> oh, let me just hang out for a few days. <laughs> I'll be cool, I swear. Don't lie to the man's face. Whatever, dude. Just remember, I warned you. Well, Griff, I guess this is goodbye. Wait, how long are you planning on being gone? Until the job's done, I guess. And you're sure you'd rather be near the Blues and their giant killer fucking robot instead of just coming back to base? Oh my god. Hey, I think I broke the urinal in the laundry room. We don't have a urinal in the laundry room. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Whatever, your funeral. Just remember, if a robot ever corners you, just stick him with a magnet. Computers haven't been affected by magnets since the 20th century. Which is exactly what they want you to think. <sighs> Finally, a place I can call home. Alright, Freckles. Cut! Hey, Caboose, you dropped your ball! <laughs> ah, what did I do? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still working on that one. Oh, gosh. We have our ball back! I can't! Star says I throw like a girl! Oh my god, that was a great one. As always, uh, episode 7 and 8 were great. And it runs. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to support using those bumpers on both ends. Uh, this is season 11, episode 7 and 8. Uh, so we'll be doing 9 and 10 next time. And we this season is shorter than last season, luckily. So we'll be able to get through it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. We appreciate you a ton. And I'll catch you next time on Reactions with an X. Be safe, y'all. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.